Meta has just dropped a game changer. Llama 3.3, a multilingual AI model that's smaller, faster, and cheaper than its predecessors while delivering near state-of-the-art performance. This revolutionary model operates on a fraction of the resources its competitors require, slashing costs and opening doors for developers worldwide. But this isn't just about efficiency, it's about a strategic vision. Llama 3.3 is part of Meta's larger plan to dominate both AI and virtual reality, shaping the infrastructure of the future. From breakthroughs in training data and safety measures to unprecedented accessibility and VR integration, this video explores how Llama 3.3 is transforming not just technology, but the very way we interact with the digital world. But here's the twist. This isn't just a story about a new AI model. It's the story of Meta's grand strategy to dominate the emerging landscape of AI and virtual reality through innovation, efficiency, and strategic positioning. Meta isn't just building tools. They're building the infrastructure for tomorrow's digital world. Llama 3.3 is a critical piece of this puzzle a model that operates on a fraction of the resources required by its predecessors while delivering near-identical performance. It's about creating AI that's not only powerful, but also practical and scalable. We'll delve into the groundbreaking innovations behind its efficiency, the technical challenges it overcomes, and the safeguards Meta has built to ensure it's used responsibly. We'll also uncover how this model fits into Meta's broader ambitions, from powering advanced VR experiences to shaping the infrastructure of the metaverse. By the end, you'll see how Llama 3.3 isn't just another AI, it's a cornerstone of the next era of digital connectivity. Meta's announcement of Llama 3.3 immediately captured attention. Unlike its predecessor Llama 3.1, which boasted an enormous 405 billion parameters, Llama 3.3 features a much smaller 70 billion parameters. For those unfamiliar with AI jargon, Parameters are the backbone of machine learning models. They define the model's complexity and potential. Yet, despite being significantly smaller, Llama 3.3 performs at nearly the same level as Llama 3.1. This is nothing short of revolutionary. How is this possible? The answer lies in efficiency. Llama 3.3 uses cutting-edge architecture and optimization techniques that allow it to achieve more with less. For developers and businesses, this translates into dramatically lower costs. While Llama 3.1 required terabytes of GPU memory and a hefty budget to operate, Llama 3.3 can run on just tens of gigabytes of memory. Imagine the difference between needing a full server farm versus a single machine. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a transformation of what's possible in AI development. Consider the financial implications. A company that might have spent $600,000 in GPU costs for Llama 3.1 can now achieve comparable results for a fraction of the price. For small startups and research teams, this opens doors that were previously shut tight. AI is no longer the exclusive domain of tech giants. It's becoming a tool for everyone. But Llama 3.3 isn't just efficient. It's powerful. The model was trained on an astonishing 15 trillion tokens an unprecedented amount of data that dwarfs the 2 trillion tokens used for its predecessor, Llama 2. This massive training set allows Llama 3.3 to excel in a wide range of tasks, from solving complex reasoning problems to generating code and answering nuanced questions. It's also multilingual, supporting English, German, French, Spanish, Hindi, and more, making it a truly global tool. One of its standout features is its ability to handle super long contexts, up to 128,000 tokens. To put that into perspective, that's the equivalent of an entire book. Imagine asking an AI to analyze a novel, retain every plot twist and character arc, and then answer questions with perfect accuracy. That's the kind of capability Llama 3.3 offers. But this power comes with responsibility, and Meta is acutely aware of the risks. AI, when misused, can have serious consequences from spreading misinformation to enabling harmful activities. To mitigate these risks, Meta has built a comprehensive set of safeguards into Llama 3.3. Tools like LlamaGuard 3 and PromptGuard are designed to prevent the model from generating harmful or malicious content. Additionally, Meta conducted extensive testing, known as red teaming, where experts actively tried to exploit the model's weaknesses. This rigorous process helped identify vulnerabilities and improve the model's resilience. Meta's strategy isn't just about building safer AI, it's about building smarter infrastructure. By making Llama 3.3 open source, 
They're encouraging widespread adoption, but with conditions. Organizations with over 700 million monthly active users are required to obtain a commercial license, ensuring that Meta maintains some control over how the model is used. It's a clever balance between accessibility and accountability, and it ensures that Meta's tools remain integral to the broader AI ecosystem. But Llama 3.3 is just one piece of a much larger puzzle. Meta's ambitions extend far beyond AI into the realm of virtual reality. Their vision is a seamless integration of AI and VR, where these technologies work together to create immersive digital experiences. For example, Meta's SEMG, Surface Electromyography Devices, allow users to control virtual objects using muscle signals. Combine this with the power of Llama 3.3, and you begin to see the foundation of Meta's much-discussed metaverse. To support this vision, Meta is investing heavily in infrastructure. They're building a new AI data center in Louisiana and launching an undersea cabling project to enhance global connectivity. With 600 million monthly active users on Meta AI platforms and over 3 billion users across Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and Messenger, the scale of their ambition is clear. Of course, such groundbreaking technology comes with environmental costs. Training Llama 3.3 required 39.3 million GPU hours, resulting in 11,390 tons of CO2 emissions. However, Meta claims to have achieved net zero emissions for this process by using renewable energy. By openly sharing these figures, Meta is setting a precedent for transparency and sustainability in AI development. The story of Llama 3.3 is more than just a tale of innovation. It's a glimpse into the future. This model isn't just reshaping what AI can do, it's redefining who can use it and how. From startups to tech giants, the accessibility and efficiency of Llama 3.3 are democratizing AI in ways that were once unimaginable. But what will developers build with it? What groundbreaking applications will emerge? Only time will tell. What's clear is that Meta has positioned itself as more than just a tech company. They're crafting the blueprint for the next era of computing. If you found this journey into the world of Llama 3.3 fascinating, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the latest innovations in AI and tech. The future is unfolding before us and you won't want to miss a single step.